astrologer Wonder Girl, and I'm here to give you your weekly forecast for the week of Monday, July 3rd to Sunday, July 9th. Now this week, Gemini, what we have going on is actually a full moon right here conjunct Pluto in your eighth house of like changes, all right? And what I think has been going on with you lately is that you've been trying to just change and redirect your life to really resonate more with your heart and who you are and what it is that you truly desire and want in life. Maybe you've been changing some of your deep intimate relationships that you have or some of the things that you invest your money and your time into to really redirect your life in the way that you want. I think. Um, because of that, you've had to make a lot of choices between these changes that you're making and between some kind of stability in your life. Maybe you've kind of been trying to figure out how you can build more stability uh, in your life, even though you've got all these changes going on, or how you can use some of your resources and your confidence and your money uh, and your gifts and talents in some way to kind of support this new direction your life is going in, okay? That's because this full moon conjunct Pluto in your eighth is opposing yeah, uh, the sun and Mars in your second of like money and gifts and talents and skills and just things that you have and you own that are really core to you, to who you are. Okay, so I think you've been making some choices there about that and I think this is the week where you have to stop changing your life so much. You have to stop thinking, you know, and redirecting your life into a new direction because it gets really, really hard to build something stable and secure if every few days and months you're changing it to something else. It doesn't mean that you can't change your life here on after that. Just that maybe the changes don't have to be so big and life shattering all the time, you know? So I think that's going on. I think before you can really be comfortable with the direction your life is going in and the choices that you've had to make between these changes and your stability and your gifts and talents in some way, you gotta first focus on what it is that that makes you happy because this full moon, which happens I think on Friday or Saturday, is going to be in a square with Jupiter in your house of happiness. Okay, so you gotta figure out what it is you really want, what it is that you love, what makes you happy and carefree and joyful before it is that you can make some of these hard choices about um, where your life is going, what it is that you really want deep down and how you can sustain that and really commit to a direction moving forward. Okay, and I think once you make that decision, it's gonna come a lot easier for you to really be able to do some of the things that you need here in your career because we do have the full moon making a sextile over here to Neptune in your 10th house of career. Okay, so that's what I see going on. Now before we get there to this full moon, we do have Mercury, which is your ruler, finishing out here in your second house in Cancer, making a square to Uranus in your 11th of goals. So there could be some unexpected news that does come up in the middle of the week, maybe around Wednesday, I wanna say, about where your life is going, what it is that you really want, perhaps groups of people that you associate with and how these things really resonate with you and who you are and perhaps your finances, how your finances can help you reach your goal, perhaps how you can use some of your gifts and talents to create more of a life that you want. There could be something unexpected that comes up there and this unexpected thing could actually be a little uncomfortable for you in your career and where your life is going because Mercury is going to try and Chiron in your 10th of career that you're gonna have to learn to figure out, okay? but I think I think a lot of these hard things are really meant to help you figure out how to be more open and be more communicative about the things that it is that you want and love so that you can move forward, okay? And that's because we do have Mercury at the very end of the week moving into Leo, which is in your third house of like communication and talk and people around town. And it's making a pretty sextile with Venus, which just moved into your first house. Okay, so I think at the end of the week, too, while all this crazy stuff is going on and maybe you have some intense feelings about where your life is going, you're going to want to communicate more about what makes you happy and what you want in life and what's going on there. Okay, so that's what I see going on. It may require you to be patient with your career and how you can use your career to reach your goals or redirect your life in a way to that resonates more with you. I think you might have to be patient with that. Not that it's not possible, just that it may take a little bit more time to get in functioning order there. And you may have to think very differently about your money and your resources and how you can partner with other people in a way that can bring you more confidence, that can use more of your gifts and talents, that's more stable and solid uh, in some way. Okay, so that's what I see for you this week. Now your card for the week is the Three of Swords. Upright. What I see happening here perhaps is you're getting clarity this week, more information about something. This for you could have a lot to do with your goals, with where your life is heading, perhaps some groups of people just because Uranus is there um, in some way. I think maybe you're getting clarity about that 
may also be financial too and about your confidence um, but perhaps this clarity isn't like the answer that you wanted or needed or expected maybe it's a little hard for you to take some of these things that come to you or you, it may be difficult for you to integrate them into your personality and where your life is going and I think you have to understand this week that it's better to have the truth and to have the answers even though the answers are not what you want than to continue living your life in a lie even though it's a happy lie you know and i think you need to accept whatever comes to you this week own it and, and try to realize that you can use this for your good and you can kind of maneuver it into a way that is best for you so that's all i have for you this week thank you so much for watching your horoscope if you like it please like it on facebook like it on youtube share it with your friends and i will talk to you later Bye.